Whether it's remote learning in far-flung outposts or remote working far from the office, the world's reliance on the internet has arguably never been greater. But not everyone can get online easily. According to the International Telecommunications Union, 51% of the world's population had internet access by the end of 2019. Close to 90% of people in the developed world were online, compared to less than 50% in the developing world. Almost three quarters of people living in urban areas were logging on, but only 37% of rural residents could do the same. Satellite internet companies say they aim to fill that access gap in the market. Firms such as OneWeb and Starlink are sending hundreds of satellites into the Earth's low orbit with the goal of making broadband accessible everywhere on the planet. OneWeb successfully launched another 36 satellites on Monday. But the race for space internet isn't without its hurdles. For a start, it's costly. OneWeb went bankrupt last year and was bailed out by an Indian conglomerate and the UK government. Heavy rain can disrupt satellite internet connections. And critics say the vast network of small satellites is contributing to the problem of space junk. So, is this just a pie-in-the-sky idea or can the World Wide Web really live up to its name?